Bonjour à tous et bienvenue. Right guys, welcome, welcome to the video lessons um, brought to you live from Kosh Alton to your homes. So um, I'm going to talk you through the video lesson today. The idea is that the course continues, the year continues, but we just put everything online rather than you being in BB9, but it's just as good. In a way, it might be better for you, year nine, because you'll have time to think, you'll have time to pause, you'll have time to reflect, you'll be able to study yourself. So there is advantages. Um, but obviously, I will miss seeing you and teaching you all. Okay, so before we get into the lesson, this slide here is all about business. We're going to do this this time to make sure it's all right. So first off, around the video, there should be some files for you to download. One is today's lesson. So it's all the handouts and all the activities for the lesson. The other is homework. We'll talk about that later on. So there's two things you can do. You can either complete all the work on this slide in your blue book. Now, you don't have to write everything out. Just put like 1A, 2B, 3C or the answer. That's absolutely fine. That's probably the easiest way to do it and what I'd recommend. Or you could complete it on the sheet if you want and then save that file in your area and then just just make sure if you do that right you put the date uh, and and like today's title so just make sure you're really organized if you're saving it on your computer but doing it in your book is probably the best bet but i will leave it down to you whatever works for you now we'll come to sound files this bottom one number three i'll talk about that another time because your sound files are all included today in this video but we will come to accessing different sound files at another time right guys so lovely to have you with me let's get started Alors, on va commencer pour aujourd'hui. Right, guys, so imagine you're all at home stood behind your chairs right now. So let's sort that out. You know what to do. S'il vous plaît, tu ne m'en as assez vu. Ouvrez les cahiers et copiez la date. Si, si, copiez les titres. Voilà. Et vous n'avez pas des post-it, mais dans les cahiers, n'importe où. S'il vous plaît, le contrôle de post-it aujourd'hui, traduisez un, deux, toi. Qu'est-ce que c'est en anglais? 4, 5, 6, qu'est-ce que c'est en anglais? Put me on pause as you sort yourself out. Allez! Alors, all right, guys, so you should have paused me to do all those first tasks. Let me just explain what we're going to do today. We will be starting the new GCC via these video links. What I wanted to do first, though, is just go through Year 9 assessment because you've completed the Year 9 course. So we were going to do a big exam on it, but obviously we won't be able to do that now. But I want to do like the training and to build you up and to talk about it, to give you some exam skills and exam prep because otherwise you'll miss out on that. And it's really important because... Edexcel Pearsons who make our GCC, they make all our courses as well. So it's a really good test and it goes all the way up to 6.1. So I'd have loved you to do it. What we'll do today is we'll prepare for that, but we won't do the assessment. We'll start the GCC next week. So then for today, it's all about revision of year nine. You should have absolutely smashed through this contrôle de post-it aujourd'hui. Alors, donc, qu'est-ce que c'est? Je veux, veux dire en anglais. Alors, je veux, veux dire en anglais. I want, je peux. Ça veut dire I can, je voudrais, it's vouloir in the conditional, donc c'est I would like or I would want. It is, c'est, it was, is, c'était, watch that accent, people leave it out, and then it would be, okay, it is, is, ce sera, with an A, you need to make it conditional, donc c'est ce serait, with an A, I, T, and then that was the trickiest one, hopefully you got at least three out of them, I'll be happy. Alors donc, on commence. These are the things we're going to do today to make sure you're ready and to make sure you can absolutely nail the end of year nine before we start GCC. So we're going back to modules one, two and three and we're going to do some practice listenings and some practice readings or rather you're going to do them at home. Alors on commence. Hein? Voilà, la première activité c'est ce qu'on fait normalement. Donc j'ai pris le vocabulaire clé de module 1 aujourd'hui. Voilà, de module 1. Et Ici, j'ai les mots en français. Ici, j'ai les mots en anglais. Je vais donner une minute en silence. Alors, une minute, tu, tu ne peux pas discuter. Donc, vous avez deux minutes ensemble. Tu veux la paire entre le français et l'anglais. La def est additionnelle. Et ici, put me on pause. C'est le timer. Et allez, on y va. Alors, right guys, I'm going to go through the answers now. If you didn't pause me before, pause me now and do this activity. Alors, donc. C'est facile aujourd'hui, c'est facile pour vous. Alors, le premier, je peux, je veux. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Je peux veut dire I can, je veux veut dire I want. Voilà. D'habitude, if you do something, 
habitually, you usually do it, et ça c'est le mot usually, quelques fois, love this, this first phrase quelques means some, so you can use it with loads of things like quelqu'un is someone, quelque chose is something, quelques fois, sometimes c'est i, alors, numéro 5, dernier, je pense que la réponse c'est f, last, donc le week-end dernier is last week-end, numéro 6, qu'est-ce que tu fais c'est la seule question ici. Donc, c'était facile. C'est H, what you doing? Uh, numéro 7 et numéro 8. On a, je suis sorti, je suis allé. Numéro 7, c'est A, I went out. Je suis allé veut dire C, I went. Attention, these are in the past tense, but we're not using avoir. It's not j'ai allé. It's not j'ai sorti. Why? Exactly. Alors, hey, numéro 9. Tu les gens, alors qu'est-ce que c'est un? Every day. Tu is all, so you literally say in French all the days, every day. Et finalement, numéro 10, deux fois par semaine, ça veut dire B, twice a week. Alors, facile, tu le montres. Give yourself a mark out of 10 for this. We're going to add our little matchups together. This was module 1, classic. Module 2, classic is on our next slide. Allez! Voilà, there's some time phrases for the extra challenge. Module 2 is on our next slide. Allez! Et voilà, même chose, même activité, vous avez deux minutes ensemble, mes petits, toi, de en mettre moi en pause. Allez. Alors, right guys, you should have paused me, if not, pause me now and do this match up. If you have paused me, here's our answers. Alors, il faut, we said this, this is so important, il faut veut dire, you must, say des, you must, or you have to, numéro deux. Pour être un bon joueur veut dire to be a good player or athlete. Voilà, numéro, pardon, c'est lettre J in order to be a good athlete. Numéro 3, j'aime faire, ça veut dire F, I like to do. Numéro 4, je mange, I eat. 5, je bois, I drink. Numéro 6, c'est au futur, je vais manger, I'm going to eat. Je vais boire, I'm going to drink. Numéro 8, you're all going to use this in your GCC exam. À l'avenir veut dire in the future, J. Numéro 9, donc, et alors, you hear me saying alors, like, all the time today. Alors, it means well then, or so, or therefore, voilà, c'est A. Et finalement, sin, malsin, veut dire healthy or unhealthy. Beautiful translation. So, in order to be a good player, you must be healthy, ça veut dire, à part être un bon joueur, il faut manger sin. Voilà, ça, donc, excellent effort here, guys. One more module to do before we move on. Turn the slide. Voilà. Voilà. Alors, bonjour tout le monde. Et ici, c'est module 3. Même chose. Mettez Mr. Ennis sur pause. Complétez l'activité. Et recommencez-moi en quelques minutes. Courage. Allez, on y va. Alors, let's see what we've got, guys. So, numéro 1. Mes projets pour l'avenir. This word projet, right? It comes up all the time in the writing exam for year 11 you've got to know it doesn't mean your projects it means your plans donc numéro 1 veut dire b my future plans je veux aller je vais aller ce sont très similaires hein? donc c'est quoi le bon moyen donc c'est je veux aller c'est j i want to go je vais aller c'est c i'm going to go je voudrais avoir veut dire a i would like to have aller à la fac c'est un autre moyen, c'est un synonyme pour aller à l'université qui est I. Numéro 6, je vais quitter. Ça veut dire I'm going to leave E. Quitter doesn't mean to quit, it means to leave something in French. I love this number 7. Un jour, voilà, un jour. Ça veut dire a day. So this is a real stem word. You know, in French, we say bonjour to someone. We always translate it as hello, but you literally say to people in French, good day. Non, un jour, bonjour, c'est la même chose. Alors, numéro 8, on peut, ça, c'est one can. Ash, remember our song for pouvoir and vouloir. You've got to know those verbs inside out for GCC. Sing it now if you don't know it. Sorry, Ben, go for it. Alors, numéro 9, je voudrais être, veut dire, I would like to be. C'est J, et finalement, ce serait... It would be CF. All right, tough extra challenge. In the future, I would like to be rich and I want to go to uni. This is a lovely mix of tenses. On peut dire, à l'avenir, je voudrais être riche et je veux aller à la fac ou à l'université. Voilà. Excellent effort if you got our extra challenge. 
Right guys, there was 30 words here. See where you are. So, out of all three True Villa Pair activity, which category do you fall in? I know loads of you are gold and red. Uh, if you're 20, it says strong, but you definitely need to get on Memorise all the time we're in lockdown. You can spend that time on Memorise. You can actually get good. Let's face it, you need the practice. Arthur. Alors, donc, bon courage. Let's see. You know the vocab. First thing ticked off. Now let's put you to some exam practice. Alors, right guys, a tiny bit more work on our vocabulary. I know you're thinking when you're looking at this slide, sir, how can we do this on our own? Well, I'll give you a little example. Alors, donc, les mots ici, mes petits, vont disparaître. Donc, il faut être rapide. Vous avez 36 secondes. Donc, comment jouer? Il faut dire maintenant le français et... Pardon. Le français et c'est lui. Voilà, l'anglais. Le français et l'anglais. Français, anglais, français, anglais, français, anglais. Rapidement, je vais donner un exemple. Je peux. I can. Je veux. I want. Je suis sorti. I went out. Je suis allé. I go. Tous les jours. Every day. Il faut. You must. Je mange. I eat. Je bois. I drink. Voilà. C'est impressionnant, non? Can you be that fast? You got 36 seconds until it all goes. So, put me on pause. Take a minute to work it out. And then, our time will start in. Ta. De. Ah, allez. Rapidement, mes petits, this is easy today. First column's gone. Allez, 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 allez. allez. Allez, 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 allez. All right, guys, 10 secondes plus. Et 5, 4, et toi, 2, 1, et c'est fini, tu le mens. Alors, bon effort. I imagined you go, all got to the end of that. That was a simple one. Let's up the difficulty a little bit. Voilà, alors cette fois, c'est 6, c'est module 2. No preparation time this time. Don't even think about pausing. See what you can do straight away. Remember, you're on your own, so it will sound like this at home. Every day, tous les jours. I went out, je suis sorti, I can, je peux. God, I'm still so good. Right, guys, good luck everyone. Toi. De un, allez. All right, first column's almost gone. You should be well past it. Allez, 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 allez. Alors, il est 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alors, c'est fini, tu nous m'en est juste about there. Right, guys, so, two rounds down. I think you know your vocab. Let's start you on some exam questions. I just need to skip a few slides. Voilà, all right, guys, so here we are. You know the vocab. You've got this vocab. You've been legends all year. Let's put you to the test. Now, these are some, like, medium range listenings that you should be getting almost full marks in. But... You're definitely, definitely going to drop some marks. Let me explain what you need to do. Add up. Right, guys. So this is the exam technique page. Read through these things. Um, you need to prepare yourself for this listening. You can always rewind the video and listen again and again and again today. But the preparation is the best thing. If you prepare yourself, you will get a higher mark. Add up. This is our first activity today. Talking about preparation, you know what to do. So read this top line. Look at all the things here. You should write in what each of these things is. So, Aisha does at the weekend. What's our first one? Swimming pool, going for a burger, going to the cinema. All things you can't do at the moment. What's the trick in this? It's down here. Look at this. Normally, last weekend, they're messing you up with two tenses. So, in my prep time, I definitely think of some time phrases that mean normally. So, like, usually, normally, every week. And... Then I definitely write here. How you say last weekend? How you say last Saturday? How you say um, Friday or last night? Think about these things and put them here. Also, how are you going to think about the past tense? What does it sound like? What are you listening for? Prepare yourselves. Pause me for like one minute to prepare, and then we'll go for it. Hello, All right, guys. Look at the preparation I've got. This is what you should have done. So I've got some time phrases in yellow. And in blue to think about um, all the little triggers for the different tenses. 
and then look over the top in green I've put each thing it, it might not be this word that comes up but it's just helped me prepare and get it into my head cross out e à la maison chez moi that's all gone listen to this recording and have a little go allez on y va listening 3b listen to Aisha talking about what she does at the weekend what does she normally do and what did she do last weekend write the correct letters in the boxes Normalement, le samedi soir, je reste à la maison. J'invite souvent mes amis. On écoute de la musique et on danse. C'est très cool. Samedi dernier, le soir, j'ai mangé au fast-food avec mes amis. J'adore les hamburgers, mais ma mère dit que c'est mauvais pour la santé. Ensuite, je suis allée chez ma copine Juliette. Et on a regardé un DVD. Je ne vais pas souvent au cinéma, mais j'adore regarder des DVD. D'habitude, le samedi matin, je vais au centre commercial avec mes parents. Je déteste ça, c'est ennuyeux. Le dimanche matin, je vais à la piscine avec mes copains. Le week-end dernier, mon frère m'a invité à aller au centre de loisirs. Mais je n'aime pas y aller. Dimanche, j'ai parlé à ma copine sur mon portable pendant deux heures. Normalement, le samedi soir, je reste à la maison. J'invite souvent mes amis. On écoute de la musique et on danse. C'est très cool. Samedi dernier, le soir, j'ai mangé au fast-food avec mes amis. J'adore les hamburgers, mais ma mère dit que c'est mauvais pour la santé. Ensuite, je suis allée chez ma copine Juliette et on a regardé un DVD. Je ne vais pas souvent au cinéma, mais j'adore regarder des DVD. D'habitude, le samedi matin, je vais au centre commercial avec mes parents. Je déteste ça, c'est ennuyeux. Le dimanche matin, je vais à la piscine avec mes copains. Le week-end dernier, mon frère m'a invité à aller au centre de loisirs. Mais je n'aime pas y aller. Dimanche, j'ai parlé à ma copine sur mon portable pendant deux heures. Alors, right guys, so I'm going to show you the transcript, have a little read through. You know the rules, you can change your answers, mais avec un stylo rouge seulement. Allez, listening.
Right, uh, right guys, read through the transcript, put me on pause, read it through and check your answers and we'll go through them on the next slide. Right, uh, right guys, have another little look, have a little look what I've highlighted and they're in the different tenses. Donc, jeune c'est au présent et bleu évidemment c'est au passé, samedi dernier. Alors, attention, ici, alors, les mots en rouge, mais je n'aime pas y aller, c'est un piège mes petits, donc disez-les. Right, guys, here we go. Let's go through the answers. Did you pick out these trips and did you see what to do? Do you see how useful, yeah? Let me get a point, Ron. Did you see how useful this was? So, normalement, normalement starts away. So, what did she do? Je reste à la maison. That's our um, example. J'envie de suivre mes amis. On écoute de la musique et on danse. C'est très cool. So, this has got to be our first one. Then, she switches tenses. Samedi dernier. Le soir, j'ai mangé au fast food avec mes amis. So B has got to come in here. Then, still in the past, look. Je suis allé chez ma copine Juliette et on a regardé en DVD. Voilà, so H needs to be in here. Then, d'habitude, she switched time phrase. So you're back to normally. Did you clock that? Le samedi matin, je vais au centre-ville avec mes parents. Voilà, centre-ville, so that I reckon would be centre-ville going to the shops. But, it says, je déteste ça, c'est ennuyeux. Euh, les dimanches matin, je vais à la piscine avec mes copains. So that's got to come down here. And then this one's tough, right? Look at this. Le week-end dernier, mon frère m'a invité à aller au centre de loisirs. So is this an answer? Ce n'est pas parce que, mais je n'aime pas y aller. Dimanche, J'ai parlé à mon copain sur mon portable pendant deux heures. So, our answers will be I, D, A, and obviously any order, A, B, H, and F. If you put G, you have been tricked. She didn't go there. She doesn't like going. So, I, D, A, B, H, F only. Give yourself a mark out of six, and let's do a slightly trickier activity. Ready? Alors, right guys. Same thing here, you know how this works. You're going to listen to Christophe um, go through what he does. Next to all these things, A, B, C, D, E, F, I would write next to it any vocabulary you can do. Christ, that K, that is gone. You might recognize this. It was one of our assessment pieces a long time ago. So, right next to it, what you can do. This is great revision of module two. The next slide has the sound file. Bon courage, allez. Alors, right, guys, you can see all of my prep here. Remember, it says in the tagline, what does his friends say they're going to do to keep fit? It's only future tense. So think about what traps come in your way. They usually do this, but it's what they're going to do or what they will do. So in yellow at the top here, I put like au futur à l'avenir, just little tricks to keep me going. Good luck, everyone. Let's see what we can do. Allez. Listening 3B. Listen to Christophe. What does he say his friends are going to do to keep fit in the future? Write the correct letter in the space provided. Mes copains et moi, on va changer notre vie. À l'avenir, Jamal ne va pas boire de boissons gazeuses. Marie fait régulièrement du sport, mais elle va dormir plus. Pierre n'est pas sportif, mais il mange sain. Il mange beaucoup de fruits et de légumes. À l'avenir, il va aller au collège à pied. Karine mange beaucoup de sucreries et elle n'aime pas le sport. Mais elle va prendre un cours d'arts martiaux. François fait 30 minutes d'exercice par jour. Mais il ne mange pas sain. À l'avenir, il ne va pas manger de sucreries. Mathilde joue au basket. Elle joue dans une équipe. Pour être plus en forme, elle va manger plus de fruits et de légumes. Moi, je joue au tennis et je prends des cours une fois par semaine avec un entraîneur. Je vais jouer dans une équipe pour jouer plus de matchs. Alors encore une fois, mes copains et moi, on va changer notre vie. À l'avenir, Jamal ne va pas boire de boissons gazeuses. Marie fait régulièrement du sport, mais elle va dormir plus. Pierre n'est pas sportif, 
Mais il mange sain. Il mange beaucoup de fruits et de légumes. À l'avenir, il va aller au collège à pied. Karine mange beaucoup de sucreries et elle n'aime pas le sport. Mais elle va prendre un cours d'arts martiaux. François fait 30 minutes d'exercice par jour. Mais il ne mange pas sain. À l'avenir, il ne va pas manger de sucreries. Mathilde joue au basket. Elle joue dans une équipe. Pour être plus en forme, elle va manger plus de fruits et de légumes. Moi, je joue au tennis et je prends des cours une fois par semaine avec un entraîneur. Je vais jouer dans une équipe pour jouer plus de matchs. Et voilà, right guys, on the next slide, you have the transcript, have a little read. Listening through. Hey, voilà, right guys, read through the transcript. Be careful where they talk about the future. This time, the red isn't the trap. Ce n'est pas le piège. Piège is like a trap. Um, ce n'est pas le piège. Le, les mots en rouge, ce sont les bonnes réponses. Allez. All right, put me on pause to do this. Have a little look through, read through, and change your answers. Answers on the next slide. Et voilà, right guys, let's go through it. So, Marie is down here. So, let me get my pointer back. Et voilà. So, Marie fait, fait régulièrement, I love that word, du sport. So, that's not the answer. What will she do? Mais elle va dormir plus. Donc, Marie, elle est J. Voilà, pardon, G. Numéro 2, Pierre. Pierre n'est pas sportif, mais il mange saine. Il mange beaucoup de frites. That is the trap. À l'avenir, il va aller au collège à pied. Voilà, donc Pierre, c'est A. Right, let's blitz these, you surely know these. Karine, c'est B. François, F. Mathieu, J. Et finalement, Christophe, il est H. Right, guys, if you didn't get those, why don't you read through that transcript again and just check and see where you've been trapped. The listening section is done, people. Let's move on to some reading practice.
Et voilà, so guys, first two targets now and done for the day. You've worked really well today, um, year nine, or at least I hope you have. I can't actually see what you're doing, but I'm sure you have. And hopefully this has been handy for you. The reading is more straightforward. You've got this on your handout, so have a little look at it. Je vais expliquer le premier et le deuxième activité. Allez. Right, guys, so for the reading, remember we, we're preparing you for the GCSE reading exam. You will be doing assessment at some point as soon as you're back, probably. So you need to think about these things. What we tell the GCSE students to do is say, don't say help, guys, when you're in the reading exam. You need to say help. And this is a little acronym to help you remember what to do. First off, the texts are a lot tougher. Always read the questions first. They give you a breakdown, a synopsis of what's coming, so make sure you read it. Annotate the questions. The best students like translate the questions into French. They predict what words are coming up and it will really help you on a difficult text. If you're really stuck, number three, locate. Get your highlighters out. Find in the text where it is challenging. Find in the text where you're not sure and have a little look for it. And then finally, you're not going to understand it all. Can you work out the gist? Alors, ceci, c'est la première activité. You've got this in your pack. You know what to do. Pause me and see if you can do this activity all in your pack. It's a nice, straightforward one. I'm going to go through the answers now. Alors, so guys, this is what you should have. Easy street. I've highlighted where to look. This is a nice question for you guys. So here's our answers. G DGF can be in any order for what she, do wants, what she does want to do. And then HEC for the job she doesn't want to do. Pretty straightforward. It's going to up a bit in difficulty on the next slide. Alors, même chose que avant. Think about help. You need to be preparing yourselves. What you need to do, right, is you need to think about all of this stuff over here. Be a shop manager. Don't be tempted to look at this text. Work here first. What are all these things? Can you remember the vocabulary? Can you remember the language? Look out as well for any traps there might be. Right, guys, put me on pause. I'll go for the answers now. Alors, let's get answers then. Highlighted. Highlighted are all the things you need to know. You see these red boxes? These are the traps. Look, Marie ne voudrait pas. Did you fall for it? Elle ne voudrait pas. Je ne voudrais pas. All of these are traps. The answers are all stuck in here. This is the right one then. So Marine, c'est E, Malik, B, Sarah, J, uh, pardon, G, qui est là today. Ibrahim, I, Hélène, C, et Florence, F. Voilà. Right, guys, give yourself a mark out of six for that. Bon effort, mes petits. Voilà, right, guys, we are done for the day. I think you've worked really, really hard. And you've done well on this. So, next lesson will be uh, Thursday, I think. So, look forward to that. I'll create a brand new lesson. It's going to be more revision. We're doing a week of revision. We would have done the end of year nine exams, but we'll start the year 10 course after this week. Right, guys, I hope you're all happy at home and lockdown isn't getting you down too much. Remember, yeah, your, your school and your form tutors, they're sitting on their emails all day. So, if you've got any problems, your family driving you mad or you're upset about something, you can still talk to your form tutor like you would. Just send them an email. You can still talk to your head of year if there's any real big problems or concerns or, or anything big or small, guys. Um, we're all still at work. And, and, and to be honest, it would be nice to hear from, from like my tutor anyway. Um, so get in touch if you've got any problems with your tutor. Um, I look forward to our lesson on Thursday. Tout le monde. Alors, courage. Au revoir.